All right, guys, so aside from some severe technical difficulties of YouTube not wanting to operate, and yeah. And so we're just going to record off YouTube now. It appears that it will be streaming for me at a moderately good pace. I don't know why it wasn't working beforehand, uh, but... To clarify what this this like postseason round um, the the Puka relive series of the Coca Cola OSL we finished the round of 16 now we're now going on to the round of eight but in order to do that we need to get through some tiebreakers uh, it's kind of crazy the amount of tiebreakers that are actually going on right now uh, it is very scary uh, let's just say it that way uh, there are a ton of them I am looking I'm in the works of getting them up right now because um, I realize when I use my computer my computer slows down so I'm using my iPad to get all this information as well uh, so we start off with enough versus boxer for group A and just to look at what what these tie breaks are if you look at the OP um, the first spoiler that you'll see is I've made I spent like half an hour 45 minutes making these charts um, they were they were just kind of plug and chug after I made the actual graph but they're pretty spiffy looking if you ask me now boxer enough in Sindoki all went to one in their group so now they're gonna do like a triple tiebreaker thing I don't really understand how it really works out I didn't want to spoil myself so all I know all I did was look at the first match I don't know who wins or loses but we'll uh, figure out from there and then we'll figure out what the games are because I don't know what happens. Um, so, the, a TVZ on this map, uh, I think Zerg is probably going to open up with like one base Mutalis, um, very much like they would do in Neo, Neo Hall of Valhalla. Um, because there's really no viable, there really is no viable quick expansion. Uh, I guess you, they could try to take the, the, the lower ground natural, but Mutilus, you get them out quickly, and then you can harass the uh, high ground area, and it's just really good from there, where you just continue to harass on the high ground, it makes it very difficult, you have to burn off scans if you want to see the high ground, uh, you know, you have to get an eBay up if you need to, and stuff like that, it's just, it just takes a while, so... We'll see how it goes down with that. Um, so we'll start off with Boxer versus Enough. Enough and Boxer do have a little bit of history in the uh, in the Coca-Cola OSL. They played each other. I can look at the map. Um, they played each other uh, on on Neo Hall. No, no. Oh, actually on the same map <laughs> this is uh, very interesting so boxer actually beat enough on this map believe it or not actually yeah yeah boxer won on this map uh, which is even more interesting uh, I would I, I just want to kind of look at it real quick um, but who knows, maybe streaming this at the same time of watching another YouTube video is not a great idea. Especially considering the fact that my internet's really shot as it is. Um, I'm not really quite sure if this is the smart move on my part. But it's not even working, so. But here we go, here comes the game anyway. And the buffering's looking pretty good. Um, honestly, just trying to figure out how this game went. <laughs> and no, I actually got that wrong. Um, my OP is actually incorrect. Um, they actually played on Ragnarok, so that was a different map. And Boxer just kind of does like a, a bio wall in, if I remember correctly. So, we'll see. Be right back, guys. Well, that was that was that just took me a while to get back. Um, I got steak and uh, mashed potatoes right next to me. But uh, all right, so spawning in the top left-hand corner as our awesome orange surrogate will be none other than enough. And as the purple 
As a purple Terran, it will be Boxer. Um, he has a different, completely different AKA though, apparently, uh, when he's flying. But we all know him as Boxer, and that's what we're gonna call him, because he's the Emperor. And this is gonna be enough. Now I'm like really hungry because I'm like looking at food right now, and I have like a half an hour vod-ish probably because I'm only just taking the. Yeah. Oh no. Why is it doing this? Why is it lagging? There we go. I really hope it doesn't do this with the entire VOD because this would be absolutely terrible. It's just like not liking this whatsoever. But, okay, so these locations on this map, needles could work. Um, it, it would, it, it, they're going to be going across horizontal instead of just vertical down, which is a little bit more of a rally. Uh, you have, you can't just like, you would have to like send them in the center of the map or just kind of bring them over there, which they could get intercepted theoretically. Really where, as if it's vertical spawns, you're not going to worry about any kind of marines being intercepted right there. And we'll see what uh, a boxer does in this game, because... All right. I still, would, I, I, still, I still don't understand why all of a sudden like YouTube just does not want to download VODs. Like, it doesn't make sense. Uh, to me whatsoever, and it, it just... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look, it just resets itself. That's just awesome. That is, that is perfect. Why would it just reset itself? Why would it just do that? Like, it actually will not go back. Damn, like really? Go back! Do I have to refresh the page? Okay, where the hell am I? Like, I... I guess it must just be the VOD. The VOD must be just weird. And we'll be trying to do anything what he can do right now. Enough is trying to do his best to try to get any kind of scouting information, but Boxer will deny that. So well played by Boxer, and... Okay, so now we're going to get the Windows Paint 2000 and drawing of where we know where they're going to go. And it, it, this is just... I, I really like this, though. Um, it just kind of shows the overview of the map before it starts. Uh, I, I don't know why he's making the loop de circles around. But that's where your choke point is. And if you just look at the map, where do you take your fast expansion as there? You really can't. <laughs> you can't defend your you can't defend your your, your natural with sunk. It's not a choke point. You can't defend it against bio. Bio is just gonna be too powerful there. Um, along of a, just a, a very nice spread of DPS over a good surface area. Um, now you can't take like the double high ground for your base, uh, where Terran can just lift off and take that base quickly. Uh, in Terran vs. Zerg, they are probably builds that just don't do that uh, because of fast mutilisks and I wouldn't be surprised for like an armory or for, for a goliath opening as we're seeing factory attack. Uh, it, I, I guess you could try to do drop play on this map, but honestly, it would be it's just going to be a little odd. And I believe he went gas first. I think it was gas, hatch, then pool. That, that's actually tends to be the standard build that Zerg to do. Uh, and they're just saying hi to each other because they're nice. It's gonna be, yeah. I think it's gonna be Goliath. I it could be it could be vultures. It could be. But in this in this predicament, uh, Hydra Den would, might be already out in that time. So I would I would argue Mutilus versus Goliath. Um, now if we see an armory go down, that will obviously verify that. Uh, unless there's going to be some weird plus one vulture tank timing push, which would be really odd off of two factories. But uh, anyway, that could be a probable build, I, I, I suppose. But all right, enough is going to be seen. Uh, we'll be seeing that. This is going to be the, he will see the lair. It's going to look like it's going to, it's gearing to be like two hatch meatless right now. Um, uh, 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 of sorts, you know, you don't get the second gas right away, but they get gas first anyway. A uh, vulture has been out now. And 
and uh, we'll uh, clean up that link so it will not get any scouting information. And, yep, there goes down the armory. So it, 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 it appears that it will be an armory opening for, for Boxer. And Boxer did this, um, I, I forget what Zerg he did. I mean, he played all the Zergs and did pretty well. Uh, he, he has really good micro. His vultures just single, like, he just won, like, a vulture opening against Go Rush, you know, day one of this thing, game one, actually, and just wrecked Go Rush. He had no way to deal with it, and he just died. Now, it might have been more of a build order. It was on Rack and Rock, and it was a little bit different. But the same principle applies. I mean, Boxer is just Gosu, and he's going to be able to do stuff that other players can't. He's almost, he almost came back from a game where he was off of two base versus like a seven base uh, Terran. I believe, no, no, seven base Zerg. I believe it was Sigamari that he lost to. He lost to Sigamari. Uh, and that was, that was a very entertaining game. Um, if you want to see some Boxer micro, that is the game to reference. Um, whatever like the l most recent boxer game was, that's the of of this vod of this vod um, that I've casted was really entertaining game. But all right, what do we have here? Overlords are in good positions right now, and Goliath are out to deal with Mutalis. Though, did we see a spire though, or will it just be a fake into like lurkers or something like that? Lurkers can also work. You can drop the mineral line. I there might be that little cliff area where. Where a lurker might be able to hit. I haven't experimented with that myself as I play Terran, generally. And I mean, I've done it just just for fun to. Oh, she's pretty. No, she's not. But I, I don't really. Know. But okay, no, it will be Spire, and he's just gonna go for quick needless right here. And that, that's the why the reason why he went gas first. He, for whatever reason, it's like because now, like back in the day, like there were no naturals, so you had to go gas first. Like there was no other reason to do it. I mean, uh, I don't even know the timing wise, and he got scourge. He got a pair of scourge. Is he thinking quick vessels? Um, oh no no okay so it's not all scourge he might think there's a vessel pair uh, mm, out and that would and enough it would just waste a, mutil a potential mutilus right there um, as I mean there's going to be probably more than enough goliath to deal with this right now going to be going in here mutilus are going to try to do something right here going to kill off the SCV no he will not the mutilus will just get out of their scot free at the end of all of this and it just comes to question yourself, like, what was going on over here? And nice hard counter by Boxer, and he's going to be in a situation where he could probably get drop ships and then just take that, uh, that base uh, south of his main base and then just bam. He has a base ahead of Zerg. Uh, Zerg didn't do any kind of damage, and I'm surprised he came from that angle, not the high ground. Here we go. Gonna be going in the high ground area right here, and they go, as you'll notice, that the Goliath can't shoot up there <laughs> until they start firing. And this is gonna, why? Why would we go down here? We want to see the mutilus harass him enough. And look at that. He's gonna take that natural, that high ground. Um, I like that. Lift up there. There's real, there, with the current build that Boxer has gone, he has dealt with Mutilus, but there isn't going to be no quick drop shift out here. He's even gone down for a third factory right now. He may even just pressure, just right out pressure right here. Uh, and, alright. Double bunkers as well. I mean, he's really. I mean, Boxer is in a really defensive state right now. Uh, where he might just go for like a one base mass Goliath build. He's going to have Hydras out, though. Hydras are good against Goliath right here. So looks like we're going to have a tech switch out of enough right now, still. And he has double expanded. Uh, one, uh, you know, that high ground area that I've talked about earlier in this map and at our 9 o'clock expansion if you look at the mini map. Uh, Mutals are trying to do their, uh, what they can. Uh, go either coming out right now. Uh, there's about maybe 14, 15 now, possibly. But Goliath are are fairly good. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say. You know, they're obviously not like the hard counter or anything uh, on the ground, but they're they're decent. They just don't have a ton of HP, so they die fairly quickly. But he's just gonna go for the kill. If it works, then Boxer will win. If it doesn't, well, he has no army left, and he really can't take an expansion at that point because Midas will continue to deny that uh, island expansion of his, or Link will just come out and just take the really really open base so boxer is kind of going all in right now and we'll see if he can 
do the damage that he needs to. Hydras. There isn't a ton of Hydras. But, ooh, getting double upgrades at this point. Just had a bit of my stick. It was awesome. Oh. He has Boxer has so many Goliath at this point. I'm honestly scared. Um, if lurkers come here, um, lurkers are really good against lur. Wow. Okay, Boxer is playing. Um, playing very odd. Um, Mass Goliath versus Zerg, and taking the center map before he's like super far ahead. He's cocky right now. Oh, these mutilists though. Uh, these mutilists do not want to engage. This again takes um, a couple free hits. One mutilist will go down from the engagement. Nice pickup for Boxer. One less mutilist to deal with. And it looks like he's not even going to pressure. He's, he's just going to go take the center base. Okay. Odd decision, but okay. Because this is going to happen. You're just going to be in here. And it's like, will Derp, will Boxer, you're not going to keep this base. If you want to repair this one turret you have, um, unless enough is not going to target fire the... Okay, somehow he has not killed off this base, but uh, Goliath are have four spec for Meatless right now. Now, I'll be interested what enough is actually planning right now. Is he just going to go with a mass Hydra Force and just kind of a move? A move? I think we have a drop of the nine, unless that's just bad pixelation that looks like a purple drop or something like that. I want to say there's a drop happening in the nine, but... Nope, I was completely wrong, so disregard everything. We have our first tank from Boxer right now. <laughs> Uh, we have Mac versus Zerg as the Korean commentator buddy said of mine. Box is going to be pushing here, and this is where the push comes into. He's going to try to uh, aggressively push and expand at the same time here. Uh, will it work? We haven't seen enough main army of Hydras, uh, or how many there are. Okay, there's a good amount of Hydras here. Can they get a good concave on there? I'm uh, getting up another hatchery right now, just trying to make as many units as possible. As really he can't, if he makes units on the high ground, he's not going to be able to support himself. Uh, with the addition of the tank, Boxer is looking very scary at this point, especially going to a choke point. If he gets more than one tank here, he could do a lot of damage. And remember, on this map, he enough has taken two island expansions where those two hatches that could theoretically produce six hydras uh, can't do that right now because they can't get on the low ground. Uh, he's making them, but he, they won't be able to reinforce, sadly. And Boxer gonna be taking, has taken the center and his natural expansion, like the traditional natural, except it's really wide out in the open. Feels confident that he can continue up this contain, and we'll see, he's killed off one of the sunken so far, gonna be going in here with a lot of the Goliath right here. We'll be starting to target fire that hatchery, what is the reaction by enough here? Will he, can he get the Hydras in time? Goliath are advancing into the main base right here, Boxer looks tense. Mutilus and Hydras up here, that's a good amount of Hydras, nice spread on the Hydras right here, gonna be going in here, only one tank so far, tank gets killed off right here. A lot of Goliaths are here, but there are so many Hydras that these are gonna have to retreat at this point in time. This is gonna be pretty bad for Boxer, I would say. Um, I don't think there's gonna be enough with 1-1 one -one upgrades for, for enough right here. He did lose the hatch, but I think he's gonna have enough to defend here. Box might be better off just to turn around right now. He's killed off a hatch. I mean, I'm really not sure if it's the most cost effective thing, but it's the hatch nonetheless, and he should probably go back home. I don't think he's going to accomplish much. Enough has too much right here, and you're just going to see that, I mean, there's going to be a greater concave for enough anyway, and you'll just see how quickly Goliath are called, why I call them tin cans, and why me and BMW call them tin cans, and Boxer, a little bit poor decision making by Boxer to, can, to stay in there, thinking that there really wasn't much less of, much less of enough right here and Hydra harass to Hydra harass over here but if Boxer can maintain on that center base I mean he's gonna be off of the equivalent of like two and a half 2.8 bases I would say I mean I wouldn't say it's like half a base I would call it like I think that's like 1.8 bases in the center 
So we actually have 3.8 bases. Yeah, so he's, he's definitely ahead than his opponent in, in terms of economy. Uh, he's been mining off his one his first base for a while longer, and Zerg has still had an, a, a higher economy to this point, so I'm, I'm not quite sure if the economy is going to... It, it's going to take a little bit for that economy to start really kicking in, especially with the production that he's going to have. He has to wait for the production facility to come out here, and it looks like we're going to have a drop of sorts back onto the 9 uh, to probably bring in more drones or something like that. Uh, or just a drop in general that it's just going to lose two overlords for free. I guess they're just scouting overlords. Nothing better than cold mashed potatoes. I need to add salt to this. Triple Evo Chamber by enough right now. Wow. Yeah. My boxer is just kind of clearing off overlords right here. I like this. Getting more, get uh, really kind of restricting the ma restricting the map vision of enough right here. But I don't think he's gonna have enough to deal with these hydras. This is so many hydras on the field right now. Tanks are gonna do what they can, but that is the swarm right there. Enough is coming in here, doing so much damage to boxer's main army. And wow, that is crazy. And even just look at the expression of enough, just just lying, just like well, that's good. But he's still he's still playing very hard. Uh, what is left of boxer? Three tanks are be coming in here. Will it be enough? It might just be enough. No, we'll, yeah, no. There's too many hydras. Uh, nice, nice play by enough right here, and he's gonna get some SCV kills right here. Gonna continue to re rally units in here, guys. This is this might be. Well, I don't think it's gonna, gonna be game, but this is gonna really damage a boxer's economy, and can, he can't defend the center base anymore. Very risky base by boxer, and he's gonna get punished for it right now. Oh man! Well done by enough right here, continuing to just kill off SCVs, and he's gonna maybe probably force a no. We'll not force a lift off on the natural, which is uh, puzzling me. But he's continuing around that center base, which is again the, a bit, uh, which is a big source of the economy of boxer. Boxer is gonna be trying to expand in the bottom right hand at this time, but there's so many units out for enough right now off his three base economy. It's just insane what he's, be, he's being able to produce off of. Boxer is gonna, gonna try to come in here with more tanks here to help defend. They're in a smart position as the Hydras can't shoot behind that wall just because of their range. Uh, and the Hydras will have to go retreat uh, for this time. So Boxer will barely hold on to this base here. But he's better off just probably lifting up the command center and just going elsewhere because this base is going to die. We're going to continue to be under pressure and he can't he can't keep SCVs in there while tanks are shelling. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in... An SCV robot dude just mining between siege, siege lines and hydras that are like six feet tall. I wouldn't want to be there right now. Awful. And all right, this I think is the that's the remaining army of boxer at this point. As I mean, really enough has reset a lot of the economy of boxer. The natural's not mining now, and the in the center base, the middle map, the the middle base is just just starting to be reestablished. And look at this hydras, nice splitting up the hydras right here, and we'll be able to clean up all of this. And he has two two upgrades, and I don't even know the upgrades on Boxer, but this is well played by our friend Enough right here. And Boxer is just falling a little short here. This is not Boxer's prime game at all. And I don't think I think it's just purely pure, well, it's obviously his fault, but it, it, I think it's, it's it, the reason of him taking that center base and then where a slip up of what Boxer did beforehand may have not been game killing but the fact that he took the center base and now he got completely punished for it where he can't defend is kind of where we're at now so if he actually took a, a closer home base where a, where enough couldn't continue to pressure at the rate that he has been boxer would probably be in a much better situation here 
Because imagine all the time that he was wi uh, losing mining time when that middle base was under pressure. When he, if he took that high ground base and he would have had that many more units to de deal with, or he just made a better decision in the earlier part, would not throwing away all of his Goliath. But you know, that's that's another story. But that's a story for another day. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to criticize Boxer because he's a really good player. And we even have a Ling Harass right here. We'll force a lift up on the CC right now. We'll probably go to the high ground just to see what they can do, but Beatles can probably easily clean that up. Uh, Boxer's army is getting a bit more uh, tank oriented uh, because of the Hydra numbers, but Hydras are just pretty good in general anyway, and tanks take a while to refire up here, and without spider mines, uh, this can be very difficult, and uh, every tank of Boxer will fall all but one. But al along with all the hydras, but I mean, just look at the orange on the map here, guys. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy. We have one, two, we have four bases actually mining right now. Because the main base is completely mined out, and you probably rally some drones out sooner or later. Another base going down right there. Well, Boxer's base has been spotted in the bottom right, and enough will probably make you know five meters and start killing off the one at the six at the six right now. Probably, I would I would I wouldn't be surprised for that to deal with, or do a drop or, or something just to make sure that base doesn't go up because that is that will pretty much allow Boxer to probably come back. That guy looks wow. Okay. Gotta love. Or the final is going up as well. Alright. So Box is trying to hold on to the skin of his teeth at this point. Let's see what he can muster up his forces right here, because he really needs to do something to come back from this. But here comes the swarm of enough. He's coming here with a lot of Ling Hydra. Tanks are exposed right here, even dropping a couple Lings on, onto the tank here. Very, very awesome play by enough. Very, very cute play. And GG. And Boxer is is down in his group, which is I would say an upset, especially as Boxer won the first first series. Uh, enough is just it's just like God, I'm happy. I mean, how could you not be? You just beat Boxer, <laughs> um, probably the favorite, and well done by enough right there. Well done by enough. And so with that, we'll end this VOD here, guys. Thanks for watching.